When making an investment decision, many people only consider their current financial situation. This is not enough, because both the money you earn and what you do with it vary throughout your life. Your decisions not only impact you today, but also for many years to come. Understanding which stage of life you're in, estimating your future financial needs, spending and saving your money wisely, that's what financial planning is all about. In our earlier podcast about investing and asset classes, you learned that every investment bears a certain level of risk. The most important question you should therefore ask yourself is, can I afford to lose some, or even the entire amount of the money I invest? To answer this question, you have to carefully analyze your personal and financial situation. In other words, you have to define your investor profile. Let's illustrate this with an example. Bruce and Barbara are retired, and their children have left home and have families of their own. They are in good health, and they want to maintain their current standard of living, whilst at the same time having enough money available to pay for medical expenses or to help out their children. Their retirement income is enough to pay their current living expenses, and they have some savings that they've put aside over the years. But they've no money available for longer vacations or other projects. Bruce and Barbara's time frame is uncertain, although they estimate their remaining active life to be 15 years. It could be longer or shorter, depending on their health and what support they get from their children. Their financial goal is to preserve their savings for the rest of their active life, and to be able to draw on savings should they become infirm. They'd also like to earn some income from their investment to supplement their current retirement income. Bruce and Barbara choose the following investments. To preserve the greater part of their savings and to supplement their income, Bruce and Barbara invest 50% of their savings into high-grade corporate bonds that pay annual interest. To cover the possibility that their active life is more than 15 years, they're willing to invest in somewhat higher risk instruments, which do not feature an income stream but give potentially a higher return than corporate bonds. Thus they decide to invest 25% of their savings into corporate stocks. Finally, they'll maintain a portion of their savings in readily accessible cash-type investments to use for medical expenses or as a gift to their children. Bruce and Barbara, like most of us, are not financial experts and probably need the help of a financial advisor. An advisor helps you determine your investor profile, including your investment goals and time frame and your attitudes to risk. They also help you select what types of investments are appropriate for your investor profile and financial goals. Financial advisors can be in banks, brokerage firms, or in specialist fund distribution companies. Questions to consider when choosing a financial advisor include, is the financial advisor genuinely independent of any providers of financial products that could have influence on his advice? How long have they been working as a financial advisory? Do they give advice on all financial products or just a limited selection? How much do they charge? And how frequent are those charges? An advisor should ensure that the right decisions are made in your best interest.